is where I shrink. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hide away behind here. Hmm. Here I am with no shoes on. It's really strange. Um, gosh, I didn't really feel like saying anything. And I think it's because um, I haven't been present for the last few weeks. And it's like, you know, I've not been home for a, week, a few weeks. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what, why that is. Um, I just feel like since I started mindfulness, I've gone into occasional wrestling matches with myself. Um, <clears throat> and it's just really strange because there's this like internal battle going on and it's almost like um, I don't want to let go of something, something that's very familiar. Um, and then just coming in and, and lying here just now, uh, it took me back to that nice serene place, that nice... You know, I used to pay a fortune to feel like that years ago. <laughs> you know, if I could have found that 30 years ago, I'd be a millionaire S now. I'd be, you know... Um, and that, that's it for me. It's like, that cost nothing to feel like that. Yet, for most of my life, I've been trying to change the way I feel, to try and change and run away from me and the chaos that goes on inside of me. Um, and I know when I was a child, it was very, very disruptive. I think, you know, borderline ADHD and, you know, I was caught taking things apart and I could never settle and my mother used to probably have about an hour sleep every night. She used to have to sleep in the same room as me because I was always into something. And while I was lying down there just before, <laughs> um, this thing come to me because wherever I've lived, and I've lived in many, many places and I've, I've you know, been, I've travel, travelled a bit and... Wherever I've lived, I've had a dream and the same dream occurs over and over again and it doesn't matter where I live, I have this dream that I live in a house and nothing in there is familiar and I walk through this house and I can walk through it for, you know, a long time and I'm looking for something, I'm constantly looking for something and I come across this room and I call it the hidden room and everything in there is, is mine and that is familiar and I just feel... Oh, I've just come home, you know. And that's exactly how I feel with this, really. It's uh, quite a few things have happened to me while I've been on the mindfulness course. And uh, one of them is, is letting go. And I, I said this in Bangor about, you know, having a conflict with my son. Um, we are, we're like two magnets. It's like, you know, there's this energy and we clash and we blow up and we explode and all the rest of it. And I've learned not to react. I've learned not to um, say anything, really. You know, I've just gone. And that's helped me a great deal, not to make a, a point or make, uh, have an opinion or just to, to comment. Because that, it's just a small, very innocent comment that I don't think is going to do any harm can end up in an explosion. So I, that, for me, has been the most valuable lesson of all of it. Um, and, yeah, I feel kind of nice and peaceful tonight, and it's like it's nice to be home again. Thank you. <laughs>